Hey, a pleasant special day, everybody. This is the next edition of the Ponky Tape Double A edition, as we're going to be talking about the South Carolina Stingrays and the Greensville Swamp Rabbits as we give their holiday slash New Year reports. Check out the holiday playlist, as I did a couple teams already, as the Jacksonville Iceman and Atlanta Gladiators in one video, as we're going to start with the South Carolina Stingrays. Their struggles have been in big part led to giving up way too many goals, already almost 90 on the season, a uh, 10-15 record. They are at only a 35 win percentage in 28 games played. You obviously don't want to be giving up almost 90 goals. It's never going to give you much success. Uh, they are a good shootout team, though, with two shootout wins. Um, not as good in overtime, two uh, losses, uh, or three losses, excuse me, to two overtime wins, and their power play is a big struggle, only 15 goals scored and 95 power play opportunities, but they do have 83 penalty kills in 100 opportunities, so their penalty kill has been a realm of success uh, for the Stingrays, but their power play has been a disaster, and obviously if they can get that going now in, say, the next 28 games, that will be a huge realm of probably success and having their team tick back towards the 500 mark and not be kind of ticking downward into oblivion, which is what they kind of been doing this far in the first 28 because of their offensive struggles um, as a whole, but mostly also on that power play because 64 goals scored as a totality, is really not bad in 28 games. The problem is defense you got to tighten up on, and you got to get better on your special teams and your power play because that trickles in, as I said, with other teams at the NHL, AHL, any CHL level. When you're not getting momentum and you're just having beating down on your power play, uh, that trickles down to different parts of your game because it's supposed to be a big momentum gainer when you're on your power play. But for some teams at any level, it's a big momentum just kind of depleter because their power plays do so poor. And the Stingrays uh, fit, unfortunately, <clears throat> for the fans into that category. For the Greensville Swamp Rabbits, as we move into them to wrap up this video, the Greensville Swamp Rabbits are 9-12, and actually have a lower win percentage. They're just above them in the division right now at 9-12, 3-2 to 10-5-3. Um, for South Carolina, they're both tied at 23 points. Uh, but Greensville Swamp Rabbits have a 34.6 win percentage. Uh, they've given up too many goals, too, but less than the Stingrays at 84. And have scored 71 goals, the uh, Swamp Rabbits have, to the South Carolina Stingrays, uh, 64. So they're scoring at a better pace uh, than the Stingrays, the Greenville Swamp Rabbits, and giving up a few less goals, 84 goals against to 88. Uh, they are also 2-3 and three in overtime and haven't uh, won any shootouts. They've lost two shootouts, so that's where the Stingrays have the Swamp Rabbits beat. But in other categories, the Swamp Rabbits have been tighter. They have a much closer uh, goal scored to goals against. And they've been a better offensive team, albeit they have also struggled mightily on the power play and have been similar to the Stingrays in struggles. Very solid on the penalty kill, 80 for 95. Um, so that's pretty good, but 19 for 111 is putrid on the power play. So that trickles in. It's damning when your power play does so bad because it trickles into your other play. So obviously for the Stingrays and Swamp Rabbits, they have to get their power plays going in their next set of um, games for the, the next set of 26 to 28 games where the Swamp Rabbits played 26, uh, the Stingrays played 28. They got to get their power plays going. They got to keep their penalty kills, penalty kills where they're at. They got to tighten up a little bit on defense, but they got to keep their offenses pushing. And if you're the Stingrays, you got to get your offense ticking a little bit up. But if you're the Swamp Rabbits, you got to keep your offense pushing the way it is. And then you'll be getting better, getting closer, and getting grooving more towards the 500 mark. I don't think either of these teams are going to be competitive this year in terms of getting in the playoffs and being good in the Kelly Cup playoffs. But will they be able to have much better second halves? Yeah, if they can get those things going. So I hope you all enjoyed this edition of the Ponky Take as we checked in on the South Carolina Stingrays and the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget.